Today, friends, we are going to hack the Tinkercad cone so it works using diameters. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is Tinkercad.com. It's a website, so you do not have to install it. When you get there, I simply choose Sign In with Google. Generally, we simply hit Create, New 3D Design Circuit or Code Block. Today, though, we are going to get a template using a bit.ly. Today, we're going to type bit.ly slash cone hack. This takes us to a Tinkercad project that was created by ZDP189. It is a fantastic trick for how to make the parameters work with diameter instead of radius. Of course, you can always double the radius to get the diameter, but if you're not interested in that sort of math, this trick is for you. Of course, it is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Using copy and tinker means you've got an exact copy of ZDP's original design. If you've never used a cone before, I'll bring one out real quick to show you. They are just like this. It has parameters where you can do the radius for the top, the base, the height, and you can take this all the way down to size 3 or 4 and make it into a pyramid. Lots of cool things you can do using the parameters. Of course, it is built to use the radius, which we all know 2 radius equals the diameter, but ZDP189 shared a hack so that we can make this thing work as if it has the diameter. ZDP also used the notes to tell us how to make this work. So the first thing was to bring out a cone. As you can see, those are identical. Step two, step two reminds us that of course we can use the radius, but what if we want to work in the diameter? What we do is we shift decrease the size by 50%. So currently it is size 20. We're just going to shift, shrink, or grow it and type the number 10 and press enter. Bam, that just cuts it to half. The next step is to increase the height by 100%. So take it back to 20. Press enter. Note that now the radius parameters represent the diameter and the height parameter is also correct. So let me show you how this works. If I click over here and now I want the base to be 30, bam, it actually is 30. Similarly, type the number and bam, that's my new top diameter. Now you can't tell that this one is 10, but I'm going to show you how we can measure it real quick. I am going to bring out the cylinder and we're going to cruise it on top. Notice I could cruise it to a side, but I want to cruise it to that face. This green thing is what I call the living work plane. It is on top of that shape. If we do shift, shrink, or stretch, we can type the number we want in one of those boxes. Of course, we want 10. Then I can click to get rid of the living work plane, select them both, choose L for a line, make this one the boss and choose center and center, and bam, you've got proof that it is 10 on every side. If you ever want the notes out of your way, like when I was orbiting, that was a little crazy, you can use this button or shift N, that makes it more clear. If you don't understand what all the fuss is about parameters, I do wanna show you this real quickly. In Tinkercad, if you bring out a cube, you can always type the numbers. So there's 30, which is great. You'll notice it shows 30 by 20 and 20 up here. But what we want to highlight is that if you drag these handles, all of a sudden we've got 48 and these numbers don't match anymore. So dragging the handles breaks the parameters. Of course, today we learned how to use some awesome scaling to hack the parameters. How cool is that? And of course, I want to give ZDP189 a huge shout out for showing us the trick. Now let's do a couple other quick things. All right, so let's change the name. I'm going to make this cone diameter. And let me show you another smart skill. I'm going to bounce back to the Tinkercad workspace. And I want to take this project and I want to save it in a collection. If you've never used a collection before, this is how they look. I'm going to put this one in the templates, so if I want to find it or use it, it is much easier to do so. All we do is click on the gear, add to collection, and pick where we want to put it. Bam! It is now in the templates, so I can add it to the collection. Notice if you click on the collections, you can see I've got the cone diameter. If I want to play with cones by diameter again, I can simply go to the gear, and I can hit duplicate, so that way I never wreck my template. I do want to highlight I've done this with fonts as well and shared them. It is a fantastic way to have access to fancy fonts that aren't normally part of Tinkercad.
If you want to check out these tutorials, of course, I've got a bit.ly that'll help you get to them in an instant. Speaking of bit.ly's, this is the bit.ly to get to my Patreon. When you get to my Patreon, when you get to my Patreon, I do want to quickly highlight the chats. This is a fantastic place for you to share designs, have a wish list, ask questions, or just general chat. If you look down in the share your designs, check it out. This is where ZDP shared the project. I just want to highlight if you click on it, you can move over to this side and you can add a comment. Of course, I'm going to leave him a little note and tell him thanks for sharing. Notice not only did he tell us about it, he also gave you a quick link to it. And of course, you can quickly give him a reaction and tell him thank you. Friends, as I wrap this up, I do want to highlight another bit.ly of ZDPs. It's bit.ly ZDP Cone. This is an unbelievable Tinkercad project that you can 3D print, and it is a fantastic, fun fidget. Of course, once you visit here, you can also click on ZDP's profile and check out all the amazing things that ZDP has created. Friends, I do also want to quickly say thank you to everybody that support me via the YouTube membership system. Three different levels, and of course, all support is appreciated. Finally, I want to say thanks to everybody that supported me via Patreon. Of course, you can learn more with that bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.